Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another story time with me, Teacher Ari. I am here at school, you're there at home, but we can still have story time together. Today's book is called Caps for Sale by Cypher Slobokina. Should we see what happens? Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. No, he carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checkered cap, then a bunch of gray caps, a bunch of brown caps, a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up and down the streets, calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll have to go for a walk in the country, he said. And slowly, he walked out of town, not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest he said, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little as not to disturb his caps. Then he put his hand up to feel if they were straight. First his own checkered cap, then gray caps, then brown caps, then blue caps, then red caps at the very, very top. They were all there, so we went to sleep for a long, long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. Oh no, all he felt was his own cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked to the back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, brown, blue, or red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers at him and said, tis, tis, tis. This made the peddler angry. He shook both his hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both of their hands at him and said, Tis, tis, tis.
Now, he felt very quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you! Give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped their feet at him and said, Tis, tis, tis! By this time, the peddler was very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! Give me back my caps! But the monkeys just stamped both of their feet back at him and said, Tis, tis, tis! At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap, And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checkered cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very, very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town, calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! The end. That was Caps for Sale. Now, my favorite part of story time is asking you one question. Did this book teach us a lesson? Some books teach us a lesson. Some books might not. Can you think of a lesson that this book, Caps for Sale, taught you? Oh, I got one. You tell me if you think I'm right. The lesson in this story is that you should not wear caps on your head and take a nap under a tree with monkeys in them, or else the monkeys will take your caps. Yeah, I think that's the lesson I learned. I have to remember that. Okay, I have to remember that. Well, boys and girls, thank you for coming to Storytime. Even though you're at home and I'm here at school, I'm glad we can connect during story time. Stay home, be safe, and we'll see you next time.